hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video it is going to be a cook with me video i am going to be sharing how i make these spicy shrimp fajitas it is such a quick and easy recipe to make and it's so delicious so if you guys are interested just keep on watching <laughs> So for this recipe, these are the shrimps that I will be using and I do like to use the medium to large size for the shrimp fajitas just because once you cook them, they actually do shrink a little bit. So make sure you just get any type of shrimp that you would like and of course just defrost it adding some hot water. So these are all the ingredients that you're going to need for the shrimp fajitas. So here I have some butter, I have some black pepper, garlic salt, chili powder, paprika, red crushed peppers, some cayenne pepper, one onion, one lime, some olive oil, and these tricolor peppers. so while my shrimp is defrosting what i'm gonna start by doing is just cutting my peppers first so i remove the top part i cut the pepper in half and then i'm just going to start cutting them in long slices which i will be showing you in just a little bit a close-up of how i am actually cutting them and i will be actually using all of the three peppers that my pack came with So here you guys can see how I'm actually cutting the peppers, which is just in long pieces. And I'm also removing all of the inside of them and all of the seeds. And then I'm placing them in this bowl here to go ahead and just wash with water before cooking them. So now that I have all of my peppers nicely cut and washed, it's time to go ahead and cut the onion. For the onion, I do actually use a full onion for the amount of shrimp that I make. I believe it's two pounds of shrimp. And for the onion, I do just cut it like in the long way pieces, just so they don't, you know, become super small when they actually cook. Siento que se mueve 
So now that my shrimps are defrosted, I went ahead and started peeling the shrimps. And for today, I actually decided to peel the whole shrimp. Sometimes I do like to leave the ends of the shrimp or the tail just for it to give it more flavor. But today I just decided to peel the whole shrimp and placed it in this bowl to go ahead and season it right after. So now that I have all of the shrimps peeled, I'm going to go ahead and just wash them off with water and just rinse them off. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that before seasoning the shrimp. So now it's time to go ahead and season the shrimp and I have all of the seasonings that I'm going to be using here which I started with the garlic salt and for all of these I do not have exact measurements of how much I put in them but it's all up to preference and what you guys like and what you guys want to use because you guys don't need to use all of these seasonings that I am using but I love mine with a lot of flavor so that's why I do actually use all of these and don't be shy because these give it so much flavor and if you need to you know add some more later on once they actually are cooking you can always add more so the last thing that i am going to be adding onto the shrimp is some olive oil and you want to just add a little bit on them just so you guys can go ahead and just as you guys can see use your hands and move them around and just get the flavor all over every shrimp and every side of the shrimps so here is how the shrimp looks after i seasoned it and i'm going to leave it for a few minutes in the bowl just so it can soak up all of the flavor of all of the seasonings that I used. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut up the garlic that I am gonna be using, which I decided to use two garlic cloves. So here you guys can see that I'm done cutting up all of the onion that I'm going to use, the garlic, the lime, I will be using it later, and all of the peppers. So I love to eat my shrimp fajitas with white rice, so that's what I'm going to be making right now, and I decided to go ahead and use my rice cooker. I usually use my rice cooker if I'm just doing some plain white rice. Um, it makes it really nice and fluffy and it's really good all of the time. But first I'm going to look through the rice to make sure that there's nothing that I need to remove from it and also wash it. Canción. 
más lunáticos. <risa> Está mal, es muy adicto a lo que diga la gente. Todo de mani, pero pobre de su mal. ¿no? Quiere todo eso, quiere comprar lo que el dinero no le da. Qué mala vida la que tiene. So now I'm going to be adding some oil to my pan so it can go ahead and get hot. And once the oil is hot, I am going to be adding my butter. I do add around two to two and a half uh, spoonfuls of butter. And then I'm going to be adding my garlic to go ahead and cook for a few minutes. Then I will be adding the shrimps after. So I'm just going to show you here how my shrimp looks and it still of course needs some time to cook but for right now I am going to be adding the one lime that I have. So after a few minutes of cooking this is how the shrimps are looking and they look really good and they smell so delicious so at this point this is where i'm going to be adding my peppers So once you add the peppers, just make sure you guys go ahead and just mix it all in with the shrimp because you guys want to have the peppers cook for a little bit before adding the onions. And here is how my rice is looking and it looks like it still had water and it needs you know a little bit of more time but in the meantime you know my shrimp are still cooking also and at this point is where I'm gonna be adding my onion into the shrimp and with the peppers and just make sure you guys mix it all in so the onion can actually cook
So at this point, once I had all of the ingredients added, I decided to add a little bit of more seasoning onto it. And you can also add any other seasoning that you feel that it needs. Just go ahead and try out a shrimp or a pepper and you guys will know what it needs. So after a few more minutes, I checked up on the rice and it looks like it's pretty much almost ready. I always like to just look onto the bottom of the rice cooker just to make sure there's no more water. And then here is the shrimps all ready to serve. So this is the point where I turned off my stove and they are ready to serve. So it was time for me to eat and this is how my plate looks. I also like to add some additional lime. I love to add sour cream and then I love to eat it with these big flour tortillas and they are so delicious. Make sure you guys give it a try. Please don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe.